This video is going to cover recurring time off and unavailability. The process is a little different. Uh, it's not in the vacation manager, but once again, you go to my profile, your name pops up, click the edit button next to your name. You see the three tabs here. Click the availability tab. Here's where you enter the recurring unavailability. You could do one period per day. It gives you an option to do multiple periods per day by just separating the times with a comma. I'm going to do 6 a.m., 12 noon on Sunday, and there's not a save button, but if you hit edit employee, it'll save it, it'll confirm it, that it's been updated. It will not show in the vacation manager. It does show on the administrator side of Call Stewart to let them know you're unavailable for that time period. Uh, you can go back. If you need to change something, it's the same process. Hit availability. You see that it's saved Sunday. Say I want to add 7 o'clock p.m. to 11 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday nights for a dart league. Edit the employee. Once again, confirmation. And just to show you, go back to availability and you see it's saved. If you need to clear them or change them, just select them, delete them, edit. Again, the confirmation here. And just to confirm, go back to availability and you see they're blank. It's as easy as that. It really helps out on the call dispatch side. Uh, the site will show the dispatcher that you're unavailable for those time frames, and they will not have to take time sending you a text for you to decline or you know give you a call. It speeds up the process and makes it a little bit easier for everyone involved.